First the way the talk says certificate redesign does not matter. Don't collect fake money for in shop. <laughs> The man where the shot say you can redesign certificate to your own test. <laughs> you don't use redesign naira buy markets for your shop. <laughs> 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 he begin to <the> complain. <laughs> what kind of country is this? <laughs> this man. So what did you go to? Come on, jump up and see you. Money manipulates. <laughs> <laughs> Fake Naira, all of them. <laughs> Naira of Cognitos. <laughs> Can you imagine what somebody used to pay me? <laughs> what I wait till we see him more. But what make it come up for your mouth? <laughs> he said, Does this Naira look like original? <laughs> What's our other fake? <laughs> he said, You know, they see him. <laughs> Who tell us never shout to? If I say spring court go confirm our first. He say what kind of stupid confirmation? Something what they see for my eye, crook. He say and I know who used this to pay me. If you say don't travel, but I know he face. <laughs> He said God will punish everybody where you see him. <laughs> <laughs> now one man when they find trouble, tell us say no. <laughs> Before God go punish the person, <laughs> the person where you are pay you, <laughs> the Nigerian citizen. <laughs> You see what kind of question is that? The smoky boy. <laughs> what concise it is in concise fake naira? The man tell us the answer first. The Nigerian citizen. What I You were to say yes. The man tell us say then. God no fit punish him. <laughs> because nobody be naira matter. <laughs> As long as the person is a citizen of Nigeria, it does not matter how the Naira looks like. <laughs> Maybe he decided it to your own test. <laughs> you might ask us, if like Chris, they worry you. <laughs> you might say, say that I feel like idiots now. <laughs> And they look like mad man to you. <laughs> now, when they come off for your mouth, <laughs> say as long as the person attacked attend Chicago, <laughs> it does not matter the certificate. <laughs> you must say this one is different. You say how? <laughs> Naira is a ceremonial certificate. <laughs> you must shut up. <laughs> Mamma mia. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's son, Sheyi Tinubu, has come under fire on social media after he was spotted on Sunday, October 8th, reportedly using the presidential jet to travel to Kano to watch the finals of this year's edition of the Kano International Polo Tournament. Eyewitnesses say the presidential jet that conveyed Sheyi Tinubu and his friends landed in Kano around midday on Sunday. He was said to have been received at the airport by some officials of the presidency, the Kano state government and the Kano Polo Club. All users on social media criticized the president's son for using the jet for a private event. While well, a London-based Nigerian journalist, Jafar Jafar, wrote this on X. Here is a Tinubu's golden child, Sheyi, traveling in a presidential jet to watch Polo in Kano. But this trend did not start today. Buhari set the bad example when he allowed his daughter, Hanan, to travel in a presidential jet for a photo tour in Bauchi. Even if our laws are vague on this, one thing is clear. This is an offense to the moral code of leadership. Dr. Abati, our lawyer well, here. Well, I think that uh, Jafar Jafar is correct. This is clearly a case of abuse of presidential powers. To the best of my knowledge, uh, Sheyi Tunubu is not an official of state. He's not a former head of state. 
Many are, in fact, likely to ask, who the hell is he? Because he's the president's son. So even if you are a child of privilege, what I always tell these children of privilege is that, why don't you struggle and develop yourself and make a name for yourself instead of just relying on privilege? But what concerns us is the abuse of uh, presidential powers. The son of the president is not qualified in any way to use the presidential jet, any of the jets in that fluid. Except, however, you know, there was once upon a time there was this arrangement whereby you can hire the jet, the, any of the smaller jets, but you will pay for it. Okay? But in this case, it's not clear that he's paying for the use of it and that this is not the first time no. that he will use this jet to go on a frolic of his own. It's not as if he's running errand for his father. Because the president has powers under the constitution, you can he can send somebody on an errand and say, "Okay, let the jet take it." He was going to watch a polo match. That's what is that? Yeah. No and then what even makes it scandalous was that he was received. We were told when he arrived in Kano as if he were a state official by government officials, and he was uh, given uh, heavy security, <laughs> wasting uh, taxpayers' money to protect uh, the president's son. So these are the issues. However, that uh, presidential fleet, you know, is given out with the approval of the Office of the National Security Advisor because the presidential fleet, that, that's a security uh, operation. What I know is that, you know, former heads of state, sometimes if they are a trip to somewhere or they are going on an assignment on behalf of Nigeria, it could be released to them. If ministers were being sent on errands, you know, they could use it. Sometimes. Heads of states of other countries will approach Nigeria if they had a major trip, and Nigeria will say, okay, you can use uh, presidential jet to be approved for them. But to turn the uh, presidential jet into, you know, uh, an okada that people can be using to go and watch uh, polo, to go and uh, uh, watch uh, table tennis, or to go and uh, visit uh, uh, persons uh, in parts of the country. No, the optics, very bad mm. at a time when we should be saving resources. And in any case, those security people guarding the uh, son of the president, no, that again is very wrong. The president's son uses the presidential jet, but how will he not use it when we had a country of wars, when President Buhari did the same, and everybody keeps violating the government? Yes, yeah, you I'm know, glad that you uh, brought Oji, that up. Oji, one part that yes. we won't forget in all of this. Yes. How will he not use it and turn it into an Okada? This is the same man that his father has a private jet. Why didn't he use his father's private jet? This is the question. So Remember that's a, I that's a that story. big so that's a big point yes. that people have not even mentioned. Yeah. His father as a private jet, yes. very good jet, a falcon. And do you that remember? We've all seen in pictures and all of that. Mm. So why didn't he take his father's private yes. jet to use? But it's part of the waste, you mm -hmm. see, because state resources can be wasted easily. Yeah. As long as you are there, you waste as much you, you can for the four or the eight years you are going to be here. So that's the kind of, so we've built a culture of waste. And the shocking thing, Oji, because me, I'm a man of facts. Yeah. Those that are even criticizing him today, when they get to power, they will waste the same well, way. But this is unfair. So it's this, the kind of, you see, Oji, I keep saying this. this. People think, people don't get me when I say, I say culture will eat strategy for breakfast. Mm. We have built a perpetual culture of waste. So what is that law, Dr. Abati, and why is it so vague? If you remember that, the, you know, Hanan Buhari had mm. done the same thing yeah, and for, three for years photo, ago we criticized trip. her yeah. and nothing was done about that after a while. And we had seen a lot of videos. I don't know if you have that Hanan Buhari video. This is the video. We had seen a lot of videos of the Buhari administration using these public assets it's a for culture private of use. It's a culture of waste. It's a culture of waste. all the way back. Yes. Beyond Buhari. We have Buhari. Abacha's son yes. also used state assets. Yeah, it's, state a, cul helicopter. it's a culture of waste. No, but no, you no. could say that was under the military, but it's the yeah. same thing. It's exactly. exactly. It's a, see, but, it's a culture of waste. But can't these children of privilege, can't they find something to do? I mean, being the son of a president should not be a career. Yeah, or being the son Seems or like the daughter it. of a governor, uh, that should not be a job. Dr. 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 Some people um, oh, print cards well, saying friend to the governor. So if you can print 
complimentary car. Yeah. 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 Complimentary car and say Baba to yeah. somebody. Yeah. How much more is this? Is it so? I think it, what it's the that, culture. It's the impunity. culture of the impunity. Yeah, this is what and it is. Yeah. For those that are criticizing happen, them, yeah. once they get into, I, that's why I, you wrote a piece. I read you a lot of that. You say it's as if there's a demon. Yeah. In the also rock that once people get in there, they <laughs> lose right, their sense mind. of cautiousness, they right. lose their sense of mind. But I think that's the question we should be asking this yeah. man. I know he's an avid polo player, I've seen him play polo a couple of times. I know he wanted to go see the final, but let's ask him his father has a private jet. Why didn't he use his own father's private jet? Well Why did he have to use right. Nigeria? All right, let's they, take they, out they, another story. The summary of it is that Nigerians will keep watching and they yeah. will expect that next time around. You know, except anybody's on official assignment, they will not use our presidential jet to go and uh, watch uh, you, you can't do table that. tennis or to go to the market to go and buy uh, <laughs> Ogbono and Ewedu. <laughs> <laughs> Ogbono and Ewedu, I love that.